Hi, I'm Dr. Wu. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can write a research paper in just a few hours. I will tell you the general structure of a research paper. Moreover, I will use simple examples to explain what to put into each part of the research paper. I prepared a worksheet for this video. You can use the worksheet as a guideline to generate your own paper. If you have any question, put it into the comment area. Each research paper has four different parts. They are introduction, design and experiment, results and conclusions. I'm going to explain each individual part and then tell you what is going to be in each part. I'm going to use my previous research paper as an example. My previous research project used chemical to generate power for robotic legs to help physical disabled people. So what I need to say in my paper about the introduction are the following. Why is my topic important? What has been known about this topic? What is my idea? And why my ideas is better than others? So here's the simple answer for the question. Number one, why is my topic important? I wrote down, many physical disabled people are in US and the number is increasing each year. The second question is, what has been known? Now, I wrote down power limb prosthesis has been developed for many years. And the second point is, researchers focus on electrical powder prosthesis leg. The third question in the introduction is, what is my idea? Now, in my paper, I wrote down, I want to design a chemical powder prosthesis for human use. Now, the last question in the introduction is, why is my idea better? Now, I will now, since the charging time for an electrical powder prosthesis is very long, a chemical powder prosthesis could be refilled in seconds, and the chemical has higher power density than the traditional battery. Now, the next step is to combine all the information together to create the introduction. This step sounds quite difficult, but actually it is extremely simple after you answer all the previous questions. Now, let's read this paragraph together. Many physical disabled people are in US and the number is increasing each year. Although power, powdered limb prosthesis has been dear for many years, researcher focus on electrical powdered prosthesis leg in this paper. It will focus to talk about the desire of a chemical powder prosthesis for human use. Since the charging time for an electrical powder prosthesis is very long, a chemical powder prosthesis could be refilled in second, and the chemical has higher power density than traditional battery. It is valuable to do this research. You can see I only add a few words in the paragraph. They are highlighted with orange color. Okay, after the introduction, the next thing is design and experiment. You need to show one to two pictures of the hypothesis model. You need to write down the theoretical equations. You need to prove the hypo hypothesis model work in theory. Moreover, you also want to show one to two pictures of the file setup, and you want to describe your experiment. In my paper, I showed a picture of the chemical powder prosthesis computer aided drawing model. The second thing is write down the theoretical equations. So I wrote down the chemical reaction equations and I wrote down the mechanical equations of human movement. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you. The next step is, prove the hypothesis model work in theory. 
So one idea is calculate the power generated by the chemical robotic leg and then prove that it is more than the lead of a person for walking. The next step is, so one to two picture of the final setup. In my case, I put a fixture of the final machined and assembled chemical powder processor lead before using in any experiment. The next step is to describe the experiment. So in my case, I wrote down, I invite five physical disabled people to come to my research lab. And there were four men and one woman. They walked on the chemical processor lead to walk on a treadmill. The treadmill speed was set to 3.5 miles per hour. Then you need to combine all the answers in this section together. I'm going to leave it for you because it is a very simple task. In the results, we want to show the data of the experiment and we want to compare the experiment data with the theory data and or control data. So in my case, show the data of the experiment. So what I did is I saw the knee and ankle joint movement data of the chemical powder processes during the experiment. The second thing is compare the experiment data with the theory data and all control data. So what I did is use the normal walking data, normal people walking data to compare with the chemical powder processes experiment data by using statistical method. Then you need to combine all the answers in this session together. I'm going to leave it for you because it is a very simple task. In the conclusion, you need to answer two questions. What did you find in this research? What should be done to improve the research? In my case, I wrote down chemical powder processes can help physical disabled people walking. And the power of the chemical powder processes does last longer. The second question is, what should be doing links to improve the research? In my case, I wrote down, use other chemical may have higher power density and may last longer. The material of the processes could be changed to reduce the weight of the robotic leg. Then you need to combine all the answers in this session together. I'm going to leave it for you because it is a very simple task. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment area. You can find me at www.eeprogrammer.com. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you.